Welcome, everyone. Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I'm here at the Red River Gorge in eastern Kentucky. I'm actually en route to uh, Cherokee Arch, but I thought I'd stop by Princess Arch and kind of see what kind of compositions I might be able to line up. Anyway, I'm going to head down to Cherokee Arch and hopefully capture an award-winning image. So join me as I make my way down to the arch and set up my base camp. Well, I was trying to uh, line up a composition here and uh, thinking about this evening. Kind of the, uh, the, the way the sun is gonna set I mean, I, I think sunrise or sunset, neither one of them are really gonna benefit me, but uh, I think it, I think maybe, um, looks like maybe I might come back tonight. I don't know, I have to check out Cherokee Arch and see what it looks like too, so. Uh, and whichever one looks like it's gonna line up the best with the uh, potential for the best lighting, I, I think that's what I'll do. But uh, I definitely think there's an image to be had here at Princess Arch. And uh, this should, probably be uh, you know decent image uh, sunrise or sunset depending on the time of year too so but I think I could probably come back this evening and make a decent image out of this I'll kind of show you my my composition here I use this little view catcher I love this thing uh, it's just handy for kind of lining up the composition and you don't have to pull your camera out it's a fantastic tool I I've mentioned that before but I really like it Anyway, this is the composition I'm thinking about. Um, kind of right in through here and maybe capture that. I think the light's okay. I might be able to get it right now. I think the dynamic range might be a little bit high. I don't want to blow out any of the highlights over here. So I may have to wait for, uh, for better light maybe in the morning. I don't know if I'm gonna come back and maybe try to capture this. I'd like to, I'd like to get this and Cherokee Arch, but uh, I don't know, I still haven't seen Cherokee Arch, so, uh, yeah, decisions. I don't want to be too greedy, but I do, I would like to capture both images. And I think I'm going to go uh, check out Cherokee Arch, find a campsite for tonight. What I was thinking is I might be able to... Um, Check out Cher Cherokee Arch, kind of see what kind of image I can line up there. And then, based on that, kind of uh, make a decision on whether I want to come back here tonight or in the morning. But uh, I, I really think, based on my research, Cherokee Arch is going to be where I'm going to want to be tonight and in the morning. However, I could come back here in the morning, just on my way out, and uh, might have some... Uh, some fog left over in the morning too so that way the sun's not so high in the sky and getting moments of kind of harsh shadows so i really don't want that so uh yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start heading down towards uh cherokee uh, arch yeah all right see you on the other side of the trail Could be an interesting spot. Yeah, this could be a camp spot. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit far away. I'd like to get closer to the arch, but I'll go down and see what else is available. But uh, yeah, this would work. It's uh, about a mile down, so uh, is the arch. So I'm really not even a quarter mile in yet. So I gotta keep looking. This is definitely in here. Maybe a quarter mile away. 
but uh, this thing is definitely backwoods here. And I'm hoping for a nice reward with a great image from Cherokee Arch. It's winter time. I can't even imagine what this trail would be like in the summer. Definitely have to be ready to repel some ticks. can't imagine what this trail would be like in the summer. I think I'm supposed to go down here. And look out here. I think that's cloud splitter over there. All right, let me check the GPS. Undertaking. Well, that was quite the undertaking. Seems easy, but with this backpack on, sure wasn't. Oh, good to know there's a road. Looks like it's down here. Yeah, you just gotta love this. Well, you may not love it, but I do. But if you're watching my channel, you probably do love it. All right, that looks tricky with a backpack. I got the scoop. Ah. Yeah, I hope there's another way out of here. That sure looks like a trail marker. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, that looks fun. I think I can do it though. It's either that or go back. I've come too far to go back. All right, well, I think this is it. It was quite the journey getting down here. I, I know there's another way out. I think I'll, I think I'll give that a shot. Maybe I'll explore that in a little bit. Cause that is gonna be a heck of a climb out of here in the morning. That could be a way out right there too. Cherokee Arch.
Well, I don't think I'm going to try to do anything with this tonight. If my compass is right, east is that way. It's been acting squirrely down here, honestly. I think I have a real compass somewhere. I'll have to dig it out using my watch. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I gotta find a camp. I gotta get set up and uh, try to find some firewood. Priorities. <laughs> I was just uh, texting my wife just to let her know I'm here and camp set up and uh, yep. Yeah, I'm actually texting uh, with my app, with my Garmin and using the EarthMate app. It's actually pretty fantastic. So you can kind of text on your phone. You could do it on the, the GPS, but you know, it's, I, got, I have the little tiny one. So um, yeah, it's easier to just text on your phone. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna light this fire here shortly and uh, probably after I eat dinner. Oh yeah, what's for dinner? Well, uh, three bean chili mac, had this before. Excellent meal, uh, almost ready. Another two, three minutes. I'll be chowing down on this. All right. Honestly, if I'd have really known it was this difficult to get down here, I might have opted to go for the uh, Princess Arch instead of Cherokee Arch. So, but, uh, mm, I really thought about heading back and, and maybe doing that, but I don't know, that, that water kind of that waterfall that's kind of dripping from the, the top of the arch really interests me. So I, I think I can make a I think I can make a decent image with that. So I think I'm gonna yeah I, I think I'm going to uh, try to get maybe maybe inside uh, and kind of shoot up. So I'm not really sure about my composition yet, but uh, anyway I got some time in the morning. Make some coffee. Think about it wait till the light comes up and then uh, go over and kind of see what I'm going to do. I don't know if I have time to go back to um, Aura. I don't know if I can make it out of here in time really to get back to Princess Arch. So I don't know if I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll try to shoot that one tomorrow or not, but I'll be back. Well, so uh, I'm gonna enjoy some fire and uh, yeah, if I can, it seems to be burning all right. I got a lot of little little stuff on there, so I uh, need to get me a bed of coals here so I can burn this heavier wood. But uh, it's soaked, everything's wet down here, so I don't know what kind of fire I'm gonna have. Uh, be honest with you, I'll, I'll take what I got right now. But uh, so anyway, I'm gonna enjoy that for a little bit and then I'm gonna turn in early, so yeah, that's the plan. Alright, I'm pretty cozy in here. I'm kind of on a slight incline. There was really no way to set up my tent without being on an incline on this kind of hill. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'll sleep alright. So uh, get up in the morning and uh, make some coffee, probably some breakfast. Take my time and head over to the arch and kind of line up my composition. I was thinking about a couple different compositions over there. So uh, this depends on what kind of uh, weather I got. I got some foggy, misty morning. 
be nice. But uh, anyway, we shall see. Until then, good night. See you in the morning. Morning. It was a rough night last night. It's some critter out stirring around my tent all night. I don't know what it was. Anyway, nothing like some critter out there just rustling around in the leaves. Keep you awake. Well, anyway, I gotta get going. All right, more to follow. Strawberry granola, that's what's for breakfast. All right, so I'll hang around camp for a little bit. I'm gonna pack up my tent and everything, get ready to go. And uh, I don't know, probably about another hour or so, I'll head up to uh, uh, head up to the arch and see what kind of composition I can line up. You know, last night I had all the sounds of running water, so peaceful. But whatever that ru was rustling around, probably a possum or, you know, some small critter, but ah, uh, just kept me awake all night. Yeah, maybe it's that, maybe it's that fear of, of a much larger animal. You know, a, a possum's not the first thing that comes to mind. You know, it's a bear. And then you think, oh, oh. Should be hibernating. Ah, oh, but then it's a it's a warm winter. Maybe he's out foraging. And you think, oh no, bears forage in the uh, early mornings and uh, evenings, not at two o'clock in the morning. I think that's our uh, our instincts built into us. We always imagine the uh, the worst case scenario. But anyway, I got a pretty good night's sleep. Considering. Well, I, uh, I captured a couple of shots. Uh, uh, one was a five by four, kind of right here. And the other uh, kind of included these rocks right here. And uh, yeah, just kind of up, down, around the rocks. Kind of balance out the image a little bit. That's what I was thinking anyway. But the dynamic range was, uh, was pretty significant. More than five, six stops. So I took several bracketed images to try to blend all this in. The good thing is there's no wind, so should be, hopefully, if I shot it right, should be able to bracket this fairly easy. Uh, no focus stacking or anything. I just focused on the arch, most important part of the image. You know, when time is, is super critical, I mean, you can do a set of focus stack and then a, a set of brackets. And, and you can bracket those together and then uh, do your focus stack in Photoshop and then blend all those together. You can do all that, but when you're out here in the field and time is, uh, is super important and you're trying to catch that light, the best thing you can do, I think is, or at least make sure you get one good image with the main subject in focus. Hopefully I'll be able to blend these in. Well, it's time to hike out. Uh, got about a it's a little longer than I thought. I think there's another route. I'm going to try to find that on my way back. But if not, I'm going to climb my way out about a mile, a uh, mile and a half, maybe a mile and three quarter. So uh, anyway, it's not a long hike, but uh, it is kind of, uh, you know, yeah, tough. But anyway, uh, you know, it makes me think about landscape photography and why we do these things. And, you know, I would tell you it's like this for me. 
it's the challenge. You know, if I come away with a good image here, with an okay image, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy. If I come away with an award winner, I'm delighted. But in any case, you know, I think it's the, the, the challenge of landscape photography that makes this so interesting. I mean, hiking down here, setting up camp, staying the night, waiting for the right light, trying to capture that, bracketing, focus stacking. And you have to think about all the things that a landscape photographer had to learn to get to that point. And, uh, you know, not to mention, you know, if you're going to come down to places like this, uh, the physical condition that you have to be in to be able to do that. And, and so it's, it's a challenge. It's, it's a mental challenge and it's a physical challenge. And I just enjoy it. I really do. Well, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and end the video. But uh, hey, if you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail. Thank you.